up to the top. And enjoyed the view, made videos, congratulated each one on a successful journey up the mountain. They had a cup of tea and a rest and said, come on, let's go, time to go. And off they went, but they missed the track purposely, of course, one, only one knew. The other one said, have we gone past the track? And the other one says, lying, no, no, it's up here. So on they went, hoping to find a magic lake where people wash in a fountain but alas they could not find it the only thing they found was the road going up the mountain so round they went again and once again walked past the track But the other one says, the track is back here. And they went back. And then they found some markers. And he said, let's go down here. I know a way to another track. They walked and walked and walked and walked. And came to another road. But it was the same one, the one going up the mountain. One said, let us go down the road, it will be quicker. But the other says, no, no, it's too far. Let's go back the way we came. And she said, okay, but I think we should go down the road. So they went back and they found some more markers and he said, this is the other track, follow me and we will find another way down. So off they went, down the mountain, going to the left but down down and down until they had no more markers. They had to go back until they found some more. And he said, I think the track is this way. Let's go this way. She said, are you sure? He said, no, but it's in the right direction. It's down and across. Okay then. Off they went again. And the same thing happened. No more markers. They talked. And he said, I think it's that way. There's no markers, but I think it's that way. Are you sure? No, but I think it's that way. Let's go. Down they went and it soon got dark. And the vines were everywhere. And they could see nothing but tight knitted bush. And he said, I think we are lost. She laughed and said, don't be silly, we're not lost. He said, we are lost, we have to go back. So they climbed up the hill to a junction where one said supply line. He said, that's it, that is the key, 
that will get us back onto another road. And she said, no, 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 no. We must go up. He said, but, but. And she said, no more buts. We must go up. We must go up. We have to go up and across. He didn't want to, but he knew she was right. We had to do it. We had to go up. After all we'd walked down, we now had to go back up. So off we went, but the tags went zigzag, left, then right, then left, then right. Slowly we inched our way up to the top, near the top of the mountain. And the bush started to change. It went from forest to scrub bush, more open, trees not as big, not as dark, and we could hear different sounds and see different things. Ah, a breath of hope fell upon us. And we started to think maybe we were not lost for much longer. They passed a track and he said, this is the other track. And once again, she says, no, 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 no. Keep going straight. On we went and suddenly no more markers. The bush was very tightly packed. He said, the track that we came up is close by. I have to go forward. So he clambered over the tight knitted bush and Haidaba, he found the track. He said, I have found the track, the markers, where we came up. We are saved. He said, come, follow me. I will come back and get you. He went back and made a track and showed her the track they had come up on. They were saved. They wanted to get down quickly off the mountain that had nearly claimed them and he showed her how to slide down on her bum. Down they went, but it was dangerous. The sticks did not want them to get away that easy. They hung on, they cut them, they whipped them, they made them bleed for having escaped the grip of the mountain. They were not scared, they were happy to be going down. Down, sliding, scraping, scratching, cutting. Then they laughed when they got to the bottom. Laughed loud and hard. They were happy. They made it. They had made it, escaped the jaws of death. They were now in the pine forest, soft, quiet, and they slid easy. They played a game of popping the leaf. He tried, but he couldn't do it. He needs more practice. They lay exhausted, entwined, laughing, breathing, grateful to be alive, lucky to be alive and not having to have spent a night, cold night in the bush. And he was expecting taxi there. <laughs> That's right. He said, I am tired. I am spent. Manvir, he said, phone me a taxi. 
a four-wheel drive taxi to come and get me. She laughed and thought it was funny, but he was serious. Ring now. I can't move anymore. I'm spent. My legs are like jelly. He walked like a drunk man, wobbling from side to side. He had been drinking, she was sure. He said he never drank, but uh, she began to doubt. He kept going. They carried each other and made it to the road. On the seal road was like walking on glass. Easy, easy walk. Around a building, down the road, over the track and back to the car. Made it!